Titans takes full advantage. Gravel also still on the timing on this C take as we know that Sentinels are kind of having to play for the retake. But Poise finds the greatest time ever to backstab through window and blindside Dapper. But Tins and company holding on. But the response from Cloud9 has been swift as well. But this it's going to go all the way for the ace. You have to be... Yeah, this drone is big to catch this aggression that Tens and company were trying to set up at Stewards, but it doesn't matter. Knowing's only half the battle as Zoms is still standing here on this bonus Spectre. Good for one. Keep this focus on a side of the map, and they would be right to do so because Sentinels aren't letting, or Cloud9 is not letting up. And not letting up at all, and I think maybe they were expecting Sentinels to do the same, but the fight for the Sewers will continue. Now Sick rearing up to get quite a bit of value. Boy's gonna peek this corner. The first kill comes on through. Zeta to trade it back, and now it's all up to Dapper, who's been huge in this tournament thus far. He's got a Spectre in hand and three players to worry about. Mitch is gonna be the first to contact on this. The kill to come through in the right. The Gravel slows down their progression, allowing them to get in sight to back up sick. Great move by Zoms. <laughs> I'm spotted barely on the back end, but he's still able to find the kills, and the judge is starting to go to work, Sentinel! Again, getting that drone out in B, getting this off as well, but prior to that, to get them back in. And again, this recovery is so big, you think Mitch has to jump on him for sure. The timing would not favor Shazam, but he gets it anyway. Low hell still swings out poise, and then he jumps down. Not the best use of that rocket. Yeah, and we're seeing the Cosmic Divide is sometimes so hard to use as a Hunter's Fury. He's going to be traded back and forth. Zeta gets nothing, but Shazam gets two. You pushed up to the site, but it was all forward. 30 seconds left. And the dance towards back side. Zeta's going to find the kill. Knows another one there as well. It's going to be sick. Who takes down that recon bolt. Floppy uh -oh. gets spotted on the flank, but he's going to get tagged from the side. Needed to be a bit more careful as they look to push behind. Unfortunately, going to get pinched. Now the gravel pulls him right in, and Zeta vulnerable on the site. He should be A-OK -okay going into the next six. This continues to go back to work. Now the spike has been planted. So all is okay on that front. And now, unfortunately, sick trap behind. No, he's not. He's not trapped. He's got him right where he wants him for the ace. Are you serious? See, the retake on C has been absolutely huge. Oh, Leafton gets spotted. It is going to be a kill still for off the aggression to allow them some space to breathe. <gasps> but that's a big entry there. The man we were talking about, Leaf, gets a kill into Zahn's blast backs in the site. There's splits coming from Mitch, but it's been cut off by Sick. Leaf able to get a third, though. Keep it even in this close plan situation. This is maybe Leaf's opportunity to really have impact here. And his ears were ringing dust. He heard you talking about him saying he was one of the top performing duelists here. And this one able to take down the cam of one. Now needs to find the last. There'd be an ace on the round, but Dapper clutches it out. No ace for used. Yeah, he's gotten here just in time. Spike's starting to plant. Will he peek in time to disrupt it? No, he's still playing behind this wall. They're right next to each other. And now he steps out and finds Mitch for free. Gets him back into a man advantage on this retake. Stars to go down. Empress gonna be popped as well. Floppy gets on the board. Oh my goodness, Tens tries to go up, but what goes up must come down. We find ourselves in a 1v1. The mirror matchup, the imposter, oh! the Spectre, and Zeta picks up another. And he just continues to be a terror. He continues to prove why people think he is the best in North America. He stays alive uh -oh. to find some more. And Dapper's right there behind him to back him up. Garage is not free. You have to pay for it with your life. The kill is traded. But Floppy is worse for wear. Oh, that shot that might land on him. Oh, that was so close to ending his life right there. Was able to duck and dodge away. But, of course, again, the story of this half is most of these rounds, Cloud9 Blue are never really a man ahead for too long. And now it's getting worse as Sick finds Floppy. Spike down in window room. Zeta trying to catch Oof. Sick does. That's well done. I thought he'd get caught on the curveball. Unfortunately, again, every time something starts to go their way, Sentinel just comes right back at them. And now Zom's will Looking to make it three. Hunter Shuri. Nice paint shells to try and keep Dapper away for now. And it's actually going to find the kill. Dapper not respecting the damage. It's Shazam looks to trade back a Hunter Shuri of his own. Sick. To push through the nebula and leaf just popping grapes. He wasn't allotted an ace earlier. Won't be allotted an ace this time around, but does heaps of damage for his squad and makes nine to three quite doable. But Zoms is still alive. Zoms is Mr. Multi Kill in this game, and he's done so much for the squad as he turns his back to Zeta. He looks to fight towards Mitch. He's able to pick it up, but 81 health is all he's got. He goes galactic to put the stars down the gravity well. The push from Zeta. The paint shells, not going to do too much, but a blast pack chips away at Tenza's HP. Now 85 on the jet as he looks to trade some back. The Nebula smoke is there. There's the tap, and they're baiting out a handful of this utility. 
It's still a 5v5. Leap and poise. Look at position outside of this B side, and they're all starting to fall. But Dapper will stand and try to kill back. Now needs to do the rest of the damage. Able to find the dink and through the box, but Mitch will sit him down. Leaf playing up close here could be a problem with the Spectre. Seems like Shazam is keen on keeping an eye on it, but now they start to pass by. Leaf trigger discipline here. Might find a really big timings. Lines up the kill onto Dapper, and he's able to escape. The long A attack being slowed down with a grab ball as well, so Sitmos can't really follow up quickly. And now we're going to see Sick have to pop that run it back to try to start clearing the side up. Does spot one, spots another, Tense gets it, and they are recovering the round. Wow, the timing there. I thought the run it back was going to get nothing because Sick completely looks away from Leaf, but Tense pushes up from Sewers, finds that kill up towards a short, and now we find ourselves in 3v3, but Mitch finally getting value on the flank, buying so much attention, and Tens has to go huge, but he can't do it. Cloud9 Blue convert the bone. Oh, that was great timing there. To realize what's going on at Garage. Great grab. Well, Zeta will play off of it for a kill onto Dapper. Oh, cage trigger. Ooh, Tens dashing in, able to find that kill on the site. So one for one we go, but Sentinel's worse for wear. Zom's only on 8 HP, and as soon as that spike looks to get planted, oh I would my. imagine we see some utility use. Leap on the back end, toss out the paint shells, trying That's to clear huge. out this sea long area, and this is where just about everybody is playing. They, no, Leap is completely left, but they have to be wary of this. Zeta looks to clear out the site with the ultimate. Recon Bolt can get some information. Ooh. Down it goes! Down the lane and knocks down two. Make it three for Leap. Shazam the fourth. He's able to trade back two, but now needs to stop the spike from getting defused. Two players standing in front of him. He finds one, but not the next. Again, it's so much control fought over towards this A lobby area, but you have that buddy system, and it works so well. Unfortunately, Flop doesn't have anybody to back him up there. Now Leaf, who has since postured aggressively, needs to get out of dodge, and he's not able to do so. So Zeta and Mitch, the support players here for Cloud9 Blue, need to come up huge in a 2v4, so a whole lot. And I believe the Cosmic Divide is coming down, so you have to push through this here. You have to push to the Cloud person. Zeta does just that. Mitch picks up another sick on the site, trying to do everything that he can as Zeta continues to go to work. But now the odds are even for just a moment. Mitch jumping up with it, almost finishes the job, but not quite. They still make their way to the side, but Mitch lining up a great headshot over the logs onto Sick, keeping them a man ahead. Daffer was able to trade it back to get the spike plant potentially, but there's still going to be a man down in the post plant. They don't have the best positioning. They don't have any alts in play either. Meanwhile, Cosmic Divide stops them from just playing from long. Oh my goodness, and Leaf going to work from downtown Floppy to close it out, but they can't that enough. They made such a crazy comeback, and they're going all the way, it seems. Floppy with a big double. Oh, when Leaf picks up another one, Dapper again falls to the paint shells, not respecting the damage, didn't have the space to get away, and the showstopper running out, but it's shot off anyways. Shazam chipped away, 39 HP, Cloud9 are looking to find their first lead in the game. And look at this, Cloud9 Blue's already rotated three players onto the site, but here comes all the Astro utility pouring out, Dapper able to get onto Leaf. Run it back is still in play here, and the rest of the team will just kind of follow in behind it like a battering ram. Everything going their way. Not a single player has fallen for Sit and those when they tie. Intense has a rifle, but also popped the blade storm here. Might have spotted Floppy, able to toss out the cloud burst there. Hunter's here gonna come through. Find Sick. Now the one-two punch is down, as is the second. Tens will fall, and Zombs is only able to trade back one, but the spike has since been planted. Neural theft gonna give out some information. Gravity well. Gonna keep Shazam at bay. Now they need to try and get the spike defused. Three members still trying to fight for it. Nova pulls to try and find the stun. Dapper picks up one, shoots the legs of another, but Mitch only chipped away, and it's all up to Shazam. Needs to go clutch here, finds the first. <gasps> make it another, and he does just that. It's a 3K. And Accommodate Tins and make sure they get the most out of this roster. He has had so much weight on his shoulders, so much pressure to keep Sentinels going forward, and now he comes up with a huge clutch. You I thought Mitch this. had that. He was making oh such... Ruin them. They need to keep Shazam alive. I think the drone spotted all three, and Leaf tries to continue with that flank. It's sniffed out, taken down. Now all five playing out. Oh, this Hunter Shuri is going to this ruin long them. sea area, and yeah, Hunter Shuri is still available. No shock darts available, but that spike not planted in a very good spot. Fortunately, I believe Cloud9 do have some smoke options. Here come the Hunter Shuri going on down. Shazam trying to kick him off the spike. A huge flank from Tenzo coming on through through garage dashes onto the side. He's finding three kills. Only needs such a good press into middle. He was getting the frags that he needed. It looked like 
perhaps they were going to break through, but Sentinels right at the home stretch, right before the finishing tape, they're able to come back and get to map point first. Now, the way Cloud9 Blue's been playing, I would not be shocked to see overtime. HP, there's the wall up, the Nano Swarm to try and delay, and Mitch with the awkward angle, able to find well Tens, takes one down, and so much damage with utility and more to follow up. It's just a couple more to close things out. The fault line is going to be a bit of friendly fire, but it's all up to Dapper, who has to do so much. Unfortunately, not to perhaps break out with it. They're running out of time. Yeah, and it's just the dance around the billboard there. That sign, although wall bangable, the classic. Lear goes through. It's another bit of utility use. Now going to be taken off the board. No more left as Leaf playing a close angle. Has the paint shells. Zom's able to pick up one. Right click from the classic, and the damage starting to come on through. Leaf looking to go to work as Dapper finds him. The backstab from this A ramps area. Nice flashpoint coming out from Zeta, Ooh. dropping the spike on the floor. Now they got to make a play for it, and Shazam is still wary of the flank. 65 HP is where the Jet finds himself as he's stuck inside the ropes. Now the spike down in heaven, and Sentinel's got to figure something out. As you battle, that turret might get a kill here. No, it's going to be Mitch instead. Swinging off of it, and it's a 2K to close it out. The bonus to Cloud9. They continue their winning way. And once more, just proving why we can't stop saying his name. Tense on the board now. Sheriff in hand. Usually good for a few with that weapon. And a vandal on the ground means there could be. Puts in the play as well, making it very difficult to commit to the plant here. They actually have to kind of back off the B lobby. And Floppy uses that to his advantage to go ahead and collect onto tens. No players detained, but again, it just gets so much time for Mitch to get into position to take care of business. And so just all the Sage players, at the very least in North America, if you've only been watching this. Ooh. As Shazam says, watch this. Floppy taken off the board. Poison Leaf, though, right back to work. It's going to be traded a two for two overall. But some more kills to follow. The kill feed flooded. And now we're in a 2v2 early in this round. A minute and 15 left. But a 1v2, it's only sick. But when he's seeking, he's to the left. He peeks to the right. And Zeta finds the kill. Did not get the kill on that cross. And now the showstoppers out from Leaf, and it lands on the Shazam. Opper gone. Tins quick to trouble for sure. They take down Sick. That's a lot of utility off the board. The heal as well. Going to be peeking over the top of Nebula. Sm Nebula smoke. Dapper. Big trade. Able to trade it back, but Poise still quick to find one. As Tens looks to hop onto the side. 63 health. He does have a Devour available, so should he find a kill, things could go his way. And there it is. The kill picked up, but still low HP. And Mitch picks up a double kill. It's multi-kill Mitch doing it again. But he doesn't have the health for this fight. Only 35. And Zeta looks to back him up. And Zom's to find the kill. The fault line as he's stunned up. Zeta will take him down. 7 0 we go. For Cloud on Blue left to do, but they have already put so many steps in the right direction. That's a big kill, though, from Tins on the poise. Poise has been money so far this half. That's a big miss. That gives a big opportunity. Sick will build off of it with that wall boost. And I, what has happened? This is such a different tone of a round. And it just feels like a different Sentinels team coming into this one off the back end of a tactical pause. As we say it, though, we jinx them a little bit. They are worse for wear. 8 health on Mitch, 39 on Leaf. It is a 2v2, but this Phantom, a stray round, surely, to sit down both of these players as they look to make a play through the back halls. Coming through the fender side at spawn. Inbot taken down. Paint shell to try and clear things out. Lockdown to go through, but Shazam closes it out. Sentinels. Fun. That's what they need to do to build time for rotations and gain information. Yeah. Yes, Sentinels do have a bit of map control, though. They have Vince. They have Mailed, and they're starting to put that pressure on B Heaven. Leaf, though, is here. He has been absolute money. That stun and paint shell combination is so Ooh. damning. Leaf gets two, but again, you got to give credit to Zeta for helping set that up. They could not escape. Such a good timing. And Zeta's been an absolute madman with the utility this game. I think maybe one or two fault lines haven't found their mark, and one of them did tag a teammate, but they still found the kill either way. He's just been absolutely huge. Now Dapper trying to match that same energy, pushing towards that spawn in the B stairs. B heaven stairs, excuse me. Not going to grab it. Neither is Shazam. Leaf with a nice little... Looking to take the fight right to him here, and another labored by only a couple of rifles with the blades online for Shazam as he dashes onto the site. Boys... Bit of a friendly fire, but he's finding kills towards the back. Picks up a third, and Mitch is there to back him up. Now sick. Not long for this world. It's a 3k. Means more mid-aggression. Right click and go wide from Poise. Only gonna find a bit of damage. Leaf picks up one, but two HP separates him from being six feet under. Shazam forced to use that tail when to get away. The classic around the corner and the right click. Gonna find the kill. So a nice little upgrade from Stinger up to Vandal, but just damage taken for no how, real reason. How does he not avoid that? 
<gasps> Sentinel is oh, able to try to get a res, but Zeta comes at just the right time, and he quads in just the blink of an eye, and then the ace! How has he done that? That, it has to be demoralizing. Oh, yeah. To not only be 11-1, but then to go down like that at the end, you use the resurrection of five quick kills. Now, fortunately, one early one put Sentinels ahead for just a moment. It's going to be traded back. Boys runs down Shazam and picks that kill up. The A site looking the place to be. Zom's the only one holding it down for now. Gravity well. Going to try and buy some time as a flashpoint goes through. It's the frenzy to come out on top, but Dapper's there to trade it. Now playing out towards elbow. It's Zeta again. A right click. Sits down the Cypher. The spike soon to be planted, and it's all up to tens. Who needs to find a couple of grapes to pop here with the ghost in hand? He's just going to get run down. Finds the first. Can't find the next. Cloud nine blue. Twelve. Yeah. Like, it's about as close to over as over gets until it's actually over. Uh, and you see the, the Tetris screw. The cyber cage here. Able to pick it up with the paint shells again. And poise right behind him. The duelists go right back to work to try and close this one out. And they're looking to do it in flawless fashion. Shazam. Full HP playing up towards heaven. The spike now planted. Zom's slowly bringing up that rear. Both playing towards this B-Heaven area. Mitch, the first to contact on. Shazam takes quite a bit of damage, but Boyce just runs him down right into the face. It's not flawless. Slash, I guess, like, the, the Tetris of the money, the economy for Sentinel, trying to figure out how to get everybody in a decent spot. them trying to attack into this A-Site. The Recon Bolt will lead the way, and so will that pick from Zeta. Yep, Zeta leading the way here. The tip of the spear for the squad. Six able to trade one back, not before Leaf finds another. Cloud9, up a player, the wall. Tough to break through. You're going to have to look to play through heaven or at least come from screens. Floppy, it's caught out on the flank. Not really where that omen wanted to be. And Zom's trying to go back to the killing ways as we saw on Haven. Mitch takes a 1v2 fight. Eventually will fall to sick, but Zeta's there to back it up. And Zeta again. So much weight on his shoulders coming from that last game to this one. Blue over towards that B-Long area. There's the wall going down. They're trying to shoot it down. The dinks come through, but Shazam invested in the armor. Leaf going right back to work. 17 rounds forced. Oh my goodness, forced to reload, but the kill starts to come through. It's the pistols. It's the upgrade. This round leaning towards Sentinels, and they only have to find one more kill, but it's Zeta. Picks up one, needs to find another. Two kills down, low HP. The ghost comes through. Ten's going to get spotted, but not taken down. It's kind of not been required, so we'll, we'll see what happens against this fully bought out C9 as they try to do the two boost, and well... Let's just say it didn't work, or at least not initially. Now, all of a sudden, they've reeled it right back into a three versus three. Spike's making its way over to B-Site. No one's there to, you know, really stop this plan from going down, except for the Hunter's Fury. And that could certainly put a damper on things. It's going to slow things down for a moment. It actually even finds a tag onto Poise, who will eventually fall. The dismiss to come through, so Tens can get away. Sneaks on the other side of the boxes and can't be sprayed through. Mitch picks one up. Evens the odds once more, but very low on HP as 10 sits him down, but back and forth we go. Now a 1v1. It's the imposter duel and sick. A very dangerous prospect. Hunter's Fury allowing him to kind of pave the way. That's Zeta who tags two players in the process and gets one of them. Mitch combines with points as well, and it's looking great for Cloud9. Two of four ultimates used there in that one, and the hand in hand from Zeta and Leaf. Unfortunately, I say his name, he gets cursed and he's taken down. To get a look at some of the ways to counter a very oh nuisance of an ult, it's, it's the duelist for Cloud9 this time around. No longer Shazam and Tens, but Poison Leaf. Want to work on the A site. Picking up the overtime here, trying to push to three rounds, and only three remaining for Sentinels. They look to bring up the rear. Last pack is their resurrection queued up, but Dapper taken down. Sick will trade it back, but it's only one member taking oh off look the board news to try and get this plant down. Floppy will do just that. As Mitch and Poise look to go aggressive. Empress pops. The dark gonna find quite a bit of information. Dapper to find the first kill. That one coming from Snowman through that open area. Sick gonna take a bunch of damage and Poise dismisses away. Still very healthy on the Reyna and still looking to get so much done. Dapper with a nice little flank to dismiss the getaway again. Tens will fall and this is Poise's round. He's not letting Sentinels battle back. He's looking for the tie up here. Again, man, it's the ability of Cloud9 Blue to... Showstopper pop. Blast packs get onto the side. Dapper gonna be spotted out. Now that smoke's taken off the board. You've only got the cloud burst to work with now. Dapper is there to trade it back, but Leaf 
Doing his job. Going good for one. He got his. Now can the rest of the squad get it? Unfortunately, he got his, but it was resurrected. And Mitch doesn't have a res. We'll give a life, but we'll take one. Shazam will fall, and we find ourselves once more in a 4v4. It was the knives online as Zeta looks to knife on through. Oh, no. is here, though, waiting and watching. As Cloud9 Blue start to fall apart, they're down to the last two. Sick plan on the other side. The fuser going to be killed for a moment. Not too sure if it got halfway as Tens continue to push up. A beautiful buddy system there. The to reclaim I don't know the lead. if this is possible, but can we get a replay of that moment for Zeta? Because I don't know of a more feeling. They're actually using Floppy's alt to try to get into defense spawn. Now, Zoms is aware of this being a possibility, and that rotation through back calls is there, and yeah, Floppy gets blindsided. He thought that maybe he could be the snake in the grass, something to blow things up, but Mitch says that's okay, I'll take care of it. The big wall boots, he spots a player towards Kitchen. He does get caught, though, before he can escape. Now it's all on Zeta. 46 HP, it's not a whole lot to work with, but he does have a Vandal in hand. Now 23 HP cut in half as he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sick once more. Sick a place for them, but how long will that last? Ooh. Says Poise, it's absolutely boinks! On to Shazam, living up to his old ladder name. Yeah, the Doink Machine going right <laughs> to work, and Leaf is right behind him again. It's a battle of the Duelists and Leaf. Now, if you blink, you missed it. The A side has been taken by Cloud9 Blue, and Zentinels find themselves in a 2v4 retake. Unfortunately, Zom's only good for one, a one and done position. Dapper now needs to do something heroic, and he doesn't spot the toes. The difficult as that Viper's pick goes down on B. You really have to make a play A. Yeah, it does seem to be where they're kind of being funneled, and they've already lost a player towards this direction. Leaf, you know, again, the guy who had the, the maybe potential showstopper coming into play to help unlock things, and uh, that definitely is going to set you back a bit, considering how much impact he has had helping open up these sites. They line up, though, for tens, but it doesn't matter. Poise still breaks through, pops the Empress, they equal the numbers. Wall's going to come up and start trying to allow some cover for a plant. The balcony push is going to be halted by Mitch, and things are looking swimmingly for Cloud9 Blue. Mitch finally goes down, but he got another kill with just about 40 health, and Floppy is there to reclaim it. He backs up his teammate. Back and forth we go now in a 2v2, but things started so well for Sentinels, and it's all up to Dapper again. This time a bit more doable. But as I... Bombs here. Mm -hmm. As Zeta can go to work here. Taking some shots yeah. onto Tens and not expecting him in that off angle. Swung a bit too wide, and will eventually fall. Now a wall in response and some shots down range. Blast packs that come on through as well. Leaf doing so much to buy time for Mitch. Unfortunately, he has since fallen. The snake fight on top of it, and it's all up to Floppy. It does get caught out. He's not able to find too much. Just takes some damage on the way in and the way out. Sick Zoms Dapper. Leaf Poise all on the board now here in this round. But Sentinels to find themselves up a player. A couple of snake bites available to Zoms and a shock dart. Looking to chip away. This is, again, where that Viper, you can't really disrespect her here because you have to go for the spike. And eight seconds of time. Going to be Bodasoms finds one through the toxic screen. Floppy forced to just save the Vandal here in this. Mm -hmm. Sentinels look to push to nine. And things are starting to get dire. Ten probably yes. on the horizon based off of the economy here for Cloud9. Teamwork made the dream work, baby. Teamwork makes the dream. Fight. Wait, no. 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 Wait. Time. What? What? No. Oh my goodness. Point zero two. And Sentinels pick up double digits. Zom's gonna be in just about the same boat. No armor. Lower on HP. Leaf swings for one, but Sick is there to trade it back. A heads up play as that spike. It's tossed on over. Viper's pit available, and there it is. The domain expansion. Or Zom says a resurrection in response, but Shazam looking to do something crazy on top of the pipes here. Picks up one, picks up two. It's three on the round, dashes away, and still so incredibly healthy. Dust, you said it. This round could really close out the entire game, and it all comes down to Poise and Mitch, who have to make their way into the Viper's pit. And they might not be long for this world. Playing on the outside, Poise picks up Shazam. The Viper swings and a Smith to get away, but they're running out of time. 11 on the docket here as Sick picks up Mitch. Now Poise to fall again. It's 3K for 3K, Shazam and Sick. Big exclamation mark if he would have landed that. But Sentinels avoid, and now they're starting to race to the finish line, man. That's a big opening pick there. They're looking for more, and they're going to get it as the aggression from Cloud9 is being halted. A couple finally come through, but Zom's able to collect the rest. It comes down to this two versus one, very much in the favor of Sentinels.
Spike not here. Now they decide to do a little bit of swapping around. They're going to get armor on most of their players. But again, it's still going to be three Spectres at the end of the day. Zeta having to, you know, swap back to be able to afford Sentinels over Cloud9. Leap on the flank. Going to pick up the first. It's a hindered economy. That's a great start here. And this is Tens. Looks to get that spike planted. Floppy with a huge push to find the kill. But two traded right back. Dapper goes up top. Now Zeta needs to go huge. This could be it. Zeta finds one. 72 HP. This is the moment that Zeta needs. The spike is laying flat oh, on the floor, and the Hunter's Fury is available. Recon Bolt as well. Inside the Poison Cloud, Zoms will go. Sick right behind him, playing up towards Heaven. Not going to spot him out just yet. Sick does do that. Chip away to half HP around the corner, and Zeta needs to hang on. A 1v1 Zoms full HP. 52 health for the Sova as he looks to reswing. That's going to do Board. The Shields. And here we go. This could be it. As Sentinels are looking to send it to A, and they're not looking to waste any time doing it.